shake his bottle, feed him, give him the tummy time he needs because he's got to have exercise, right? And by the time I'm done all that, I can go sit down. And I really thought he'd be back by now, so I'll just, I'll just jump back into Valheim for the moment. But I take it you haven't got your world first yet, or is there your uh, <laughs> third place yet? No, I am getting more consistent with the boss. It's just a matter of really getting it down. Really got to melt down that boss. Yeah, I thought I saw you with a Cartesian again, so. Yeah. You're running Cartesian and... Uh, well, Cartesian is just useful for some of the setups uh, because Izzy doesn't have hipfire sights. And that's really kind of needed for this jump right here to make sure that you're actually lined up. Then it ADSs pretty well. It's like right here. It's just a point, yeah. and that's all I need. I mean, that makes sense. And then with the amount of damage it does to the harpies that you get the deposits from, I can consistently get a finisher, and then I'll have Lucent Blade. Side note for this, you'll probably be able to master. You'll probably be able to just farm out many of the friggin things you want from this the uh what do you call them decrypted uh pieces or whatever you use for the umbral engrams mm. you just friggin umbral engram farm for days i forgot that there was actually an umbral engram in the splicer stuff that allows you to to, to code for the uh, cartesian i was in there earlier today and i forgot there was actually one for that I didn't even know there was. Yeah, you can actually decode, and it's, it's either going to give you the Cartesian or one other gun. So it's a 50-50 shot you can get a good roll Cartesian. As far as I can tell with things like that, it'll just repeat the gun over and over. What do you mean? Oh, you'll always get the same one with the other one it was you got the first time? Yeah, or like you'll go on a streak. Yeah, I mean, I can see that. At some level, anyway. I will say, Dredge, mm -hmm. the biggest issue I found with this far is just the fact of, um, uh, what's it called? The, uh, oh, that's what it is. Um, the only real issue I found so far with, uh, creating your own Civ is that, uh, sometimes it's kind of, uh, uh, difficult to like really spec it out all the way you want to because uh you know you know the technology tree 